came from the street, I, you know, that song, we walked up. I remember thinking that, no. People just won't stop dragging J.D. Youngin's name into conversations online even though he's passed. He's been dissed by a whole bunch of people and won't seem to stop. Now we got NBA Youngboy's guy P. Youngin who decided to drag J.D. Youngin's death all over social media. But Jay's family are having none of it and are finally clapping back at all the haters who are still in Jay and his death. Sad news hit the hip hop world this summer. One of the up and coming Louisiana rappers who went by the name of J.D. Youngin got shot and killed. July 27th, Jay was ambushed by a number of masked assailants who came for his life. And the whole thing was a setup, man. The hitman knew very well where his location would be and at what time. His highly recognizable Corvette may have been given out his location prior to the incident itself because Jay was known to share a lot of personal info on his Instagram account. And his ops, they were probably taking notes. Jay was ambushed while he was sitting on the front porch of his mama's house with the pop. They were both hit by it. Five guys, three shooters from the front and two from the back. The guys who faced them directly pulled up in a car while the other two ambushed Jay and his father on foot. Both of them suffered injuries, especially Jay the Youngin, who needed immediate medical attention. He was rushed to the hospital ASAP where doctors took him in. They fought hard trying to save his life, but unfortunately the wounds were too much to bear and he passed as a result of his injuries. His dad recovered, but Jay the Youngin, he died in the hospital. It's uncertain who was responsible for taking Jay's life. The Bogalusa police are still investigating the matter. However, ever since Jay passed, a lot of rappers have been using this unfortunate event for their own purposes. Believe it or not, he's been clowned by his rap enemies over and over again. The all-time king of dissing the dead, Julio Fulio, was posting stuff on his social media, not even a day before it was announced that Jay had died. He wasn't the only one. There are others, like Spot em, Got em, who also got involved. But after some time had passed, there are a few new faces of the whole diss the dead mix. This time we got P. Youngin, who's dragging Jay to Youngin's death back into social media in a seriously, seriously disrespectful way. He just won't let it go, it seems like. P. Youngin is a 19-year-old rapper linked to the Never Broke Again label. He emerged on the hip-hop scene only recently and is still fresh in the rap world. He got noticed more ever since he dropped a song with NBA Youngboy, but he's slowly making a name for himself. With that out of the way, what he's been doing on social media has been very troubling. Ever since J.D. Young had passed, he's been dissing him multiple times. One of the first times he did was on his Instagram account when he posted this. If I would have been at my house that day, I would have had two of them Glizzy me, try again. What P. Young is talking about in the story was the fact that J.D. Young wasn't strat that day when he was ambushed. He was caught slacking. And in the eyes of a lot of people, that's unacceptable. Some of the folks on the internet reminded everybody that J.D. Young had dissed dead rappers too. Because of that, they suggested we shouldn't rush in denouncing P. Young for dissing J. now that he's gone. One comment wrote, J. D. Young and dissed dead people too. What goes around comes around. Another one had a somewhat similar message saying, man, J. was dissing them boys and what they rep now. Now they get mad when the shoe on the other foot. However, this one person thinks P. Youngin won't make it far if he continues down this lane. I'm sorry to say, but this young brother is not even making it to 20s. He got no one who's guiding him in the right direction. Sad, bro. Unfortunately for all P. Youngin fans who are expressing some sort of worry, the bad news is only about to come. P. Youngin didn't stop with that one comment. In fact, he went way hard in the paint, and the comments are as ugly as they can be. In this one Instagram story, you can see P. Young smoking some cabbage. He glanced at the comments that his followers were making as soon as he saw one comment saying 23, in other words, referring to J.D. Youngin, he immediately went on to say, Hey, fuck 23, man. Don't put this shit on my shit. Fuck 23. Big 30, bitch. Then one of Jay's closest friends and fellow rapper called 23 Gabe posted a picture of Jay and him on Instagram. He was mourning the loss of his brother. P. Young saw the post and jumped to shading him right away. The caption that put on the post said, just took my brother away from me, dog. My day one man since kids, dog. I don't wish this pain on no fucking body on my baby. P. Youngin has something to say about this, too. Seeing this, he immediately jumped in the comments section, left a disrespectful comment saying that 23 Cave should have been there with him. If he was his homie, then he should have been there to protect him that day. Should have been with that man. Lastly, there is another diss that some didn't even notice. On his Instagram, he could be seen with this snippet, Scold the Youngin. I mean, putting a skull right next to a dead man's name, that's just crazy. P. Youngin didn't stop there. Next on his roster disc was Jay's sister. P. Youngin posted two times about Jay's sister. First thing he posted was, you took two L's in one year. Get your shake back, sis. 
And then he sent another message to his sister, and this one was hardcore. P. Youngin told Jay to Youngin's sister he wished he could spit in his casket. Wish I could spit on your brother casket. Now, we're not sure as to who P. Youngin thought of when he wrote that first comment. The first loss is obviously her brother, Jay to Youngin. But as for the second one, we're not so sure. Maybe he thought of her father, who was also shot, and perhaps another homie who passed. Who knows? At this point, it was only Jay to Youngin who was dissed, but his family members were too. To be more precise, his sister was the one who got caught with P. Young and Disson Webb. But Jay's sister is alive and well. She just wouldn't lay back and watch. Initially, some of Jay DeYoung's people responded to P. Young. They urged him to stop all the nonsense, but this guy's just so reckless with it and would not stop. It was Young's sister, Kenya, who finally had enough of what P. was doing. She took hard blows, and it was time for some payback. If you thought she just let it slide like that, well, you got another thing coming. She confronted P. Youngin and sent a clear message to him that he does not want to go down that road. However, Kenya got back to P. Youngin by telling him this. Yo, daddy ain't feeding you, so trying to beef now, beefing the wrong route to take. I know your mama don't want to see you laid out this early. Obviously, P. Young and Daddy in this context is the guy who signed him NBA Youngboy. This wasn't the end of Kenya's payback either. Kenya also went on to diss some of the Fallen Ops herself. She posted another Instagram story and said, I know Jay up there whacking the f out the Trent and Rico dead asses. They probably trying to jump them. But you know, it's way more dead ops up there than more than anything. It's uncertain exactly why P. Young decided to diss Jay to Young so hard, especially since he's had no beef with him while he was alive. This is only came about after Jay had already passed. One thing's clear as day though, because he got YB and the entire NBA crews back, P. Young feels like he can do anything he wants. People noticed it. P. thinks he's untouchable because he rolls with YB. Others believe he's doing all this goofy stuff just to get noticed by Youngboy and the rest of the gang. Maybe he feels like he isn't enough of like he's gotta be a tough dude to earn some respect. Either way, it's sad to see that someone so young seems so out of control. Bro, this kid gotta chill, man. You can tell he's just trying to fit in or get some type of approval from the NBA. J.D. Youngin was dissing his dead ops, and now we've got P. Youngin dissing him. And one day, someone might be dissing P. Youngin. Once again, the cycle of dissing just doesn't seem to stop. But what y'all think about P. Young and Smack talking J.D. Young's death like that? You think he has the right to do it because Jay did the same? Or do you believe he took it way too far? Do you think Jay's sister Kenya was right to intervene and say something back to P. Young? Let us know all about your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to keep it rizzled.